So if I do an attack, I'm going to start the attack now. This should be able, there we go, to detect the attack and it's freaking out. I was inspired by these stickers that I got at a past conference and they are kind of like cat tarot card themed. Um, I just thought these were really cool. I'd never seen anything exactly like them. And the artist told me that I think that they were like partially like AI created or there was some AI involved, but I just, I was just like, I don't care. Like these are, these are really interesting. They're cool. Like they um, have a very simple but recognizable design. So I uh, wanted to make something that's about that sized uh, and make it kind of a, a way of looking into the beyond, looking to something that is invisible. All right, so this is my idea. I'm going to be using um, these really cute little chips, ESP32 S3 Zeros. So these are super small. They're the size of like a postage stamp or smaller, and they have the ability to uh, like do all kinds of cool stuff. But one of those things is see Wi-Fi packets. So if I put this into monitor mode and it's listening and it's uh, discerning all those packets, then I can actually interpret those packets in real time and sort them in interesting ways. So, all right, I've got this cool little microcontroller. It's the size of a postage stamp. I want to make like a simple add-on that's going to have some sort of like, you know, seeing the invisible. Um, how can I organize these in a way that's cool and interesting? Well, I follow somebody on Twitter who's incredibly cool, uh, Anecdat and uh or anic data uh don't i i don't know which one they go by now but either way uh they come out they come out with some really cool circuit python projects and one of them was this rgb matrix that actually is able to react to wi-fi packets and sort them by channels so they i guess live in a place where there are 14 wi-fi channels must be nice uh and they were using this adafruit 14 um 14 row LED matrix. Now this is controlled over I2C. I don't have one of these and it's not a standard size. So it's a little, you know, it's a little unusual um, in terms of like hardware, but I was inspired by this. I was like, okay, cool. If I can use the same microcontroller to sort through packets and then kind of divide them by the uh, like Wi-Fi channel that they're on, then this is such an interesting start. Like, I think this is really cool. So I was like, all right, if I could use this example code, which is freely provided here, uh, and adapt it to a different type of display, then that would be really cool. So if I wanted to integrate this into a badge design that I thought like something like a clock or something that's round and divided up into 12 segments like a clock is, would be the perfect way of doing this in the United States where we have 12 Wi-Fi channels that we use. So uh, the setup is then this. I, so I have all the different Wi-Fi channels here, um, which, each three LED segment is actually uh, showing off its own Wi-Fi channel. And in real time, this is showing all the Wi-Fi traffic around me. So each slice of this paper plate and these three LEDs is indicating, uh, for example, channel one, channel two, channel three, and you can see which channels have the most activity on them. Now, what's also cool about this little design is it's separating the channels, uh, it's separating the LED pulses into colors. And each of those colors means something different. A blue one is a beacon frame. It's basically a, an access point that's advertising itself. So if there were a bunch of access points all clustered on a particular channel, then we would see them represented there. They would constantly be beaconing. We can see channel six, for example, is, has a ton of traffic and a lot of that are blue beacon frames. Um, the green ones are devices uh, that are uh, basically calling out for network. So these are things like laptops, cell phones, and other things around me that are, are making requests uh, for uh, an access point to join. So we can see on here, there's specific uh, channels that access points are, or sorry, that uh, these uh, client devices are present on and calling out for, which is cool because we can start to see like what channels uh, have a lot of access points that are you know, connected and then which ones do not have connected devices and instead have devices that are calling out and trying to connect. Um, and then there's a couple other colors as well. The yellow ones, which keep popping up, are other types of management frames. So that could be like a, a Wi-Fi handshake, um, an authentication frame, or other sorts of things that are managing a Wi-Fi connection. And then what's curious is I don't really see very often, um, we there are purple frames as well. And those are data frames. And that's when you know we have a device that's exchanging data. Um, so one thing that's kind of noteworthy is when you take out a device like a cell phone and then you unlock it, 
um, it causes a burst of Wi-Fi traffic. So if I look here, I can see that you know a bunch of things are signing back in or checking back in. And um, it's cool to be able to see the actual effect of like your device, like rejoining a Wi-Fi network or turning Wi-Fi on or something like that. So I found this to be pretty cool and interesting. Um, and then I want to show you what an attack looks like. So over here, I have a Wi-Fi nugget and it is ready to do an attack. Now, one thing is I can change this attack as well. If I want to do beacon frames, so remember beacon frames are the blue ones. Um, I can hit start and it's setting out all these blue beacon frames. And actually, I can actually see the plate is mostly blue right now because it's just being blasted with beacon frames. So if I stop that attack and then do, uh, let's do probe frames instead. So probe frames are green. So now we can see, hopefully, the plate should turn mostly green because we're blasting out all these probe requests and making it look like all these devices are nearby, which is cool. We can see that. So now let's do a real attack. So I set this up to also filter for deauthentication packets and basically turn red. So if I do an attack, I'm going to start the attack now. This should be able, there we go, to detect the attack. And it's freaking out. And it's, uh, it's warning everyone that there's Wi-Fi attacks going on in the area. Thank <laughs> you.